Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So on my PC, I got 8 GB of RAM with no swap on it. And every time I open few tabs with some modern website, everything start lagging. Especially if I open Kden Live, it just freeze because of the memory usage. So it becomes more than 6 GB. And suddenly I have to forcefully restart my computer. And this is happening three times in a day. And I can't really extend my RAM right now. So today I'm going to just write a quick solution, which is a temporary solution, but uh, it's going to be a fun solution so what i can do is i can get the ram uses with free minus set so you can see this is the amount of used memory so i can pipe this in set just to get the line number two okay so my notification sound is weird all right so this is how you can get line two and i can just use awk now so awk just get the third so third is the uses so we are right now using one gb and uh, okay my note somebody is texting me really badly so here you can see i got like 1.0 gb and what i can do is i can remove this dot here so cut minus d and then dot and then get the field one because i just want this thing here okay the number so this is it this is cool and now what i can do is i can make a variable of it so mem is equal to this and all right so i i really want to read this text but let's just continue. So I got my current memory uses in mem variable. Now what I can also do is there is this command ps which is for process snapshots. This is just going to give you a snapshot of current processes. Okay, what memory they are using and everything. So I can pass minus u for you know user and then pass the current username just to get the processes which have been uh, ran by my current user. Okay and now i can just give this minus o for outputs all right so i want pid of all the processes which are running by my user and this is the pid and i can put a comma and give mem all right and this is the memory uses okay so i got pid and memory uses now what i can do is i can pipe this in sort to sort this by the you know memory uses so I can give minus b and what minus b does uh let me do something let me read the man page of sort just to see so minus b is just ignoring leading planks so right now you can see we got some blank spaces here and minus b is going to ignore that and here's one more thing uh once again minus k and what minus k does is it tells the key like on what key you want to sort so let me close this and make it small again so here if i pass pass minus key so i want to sort by memory so i have to give two here and then i am going to reverse sort so i will get so if i don't do reverse sort so you can see the highest memory using program is on the bottom but if i reverse sort then the highest memory using program is on the top which is a good thing this is what i want so i can remove the first line by using said so if i type like one do not print then this is the same thing but not the first line because first line was heading and we don't want it all right so after that i can just use head to get the first line and i can just use uh cut command with d limiter space and f maybe or wait not one space actually i guess two space here you can see we got two space so two space and this is just okay cut is not working let's use awk awk and then print one all right so as you can see i am getting the pid of the most high memory using program so this pid like this is the process which is using the you know highest amount of memory so what i can do now is if i use if statement so if uh five is minus greater than four which is true then echo yi all right and fi so what is this okay let me make it big so what is this this is just going to print yi why because 5 is greater than 4 but if i make it 3 then it's not going to print because 3 is you know like not greater than 4 so the condition is false so what i can now do is i can create a script like mem.sh and i can just write down everything whatever i did before so let's copy this command okay let me make this terminal big and open another terminal nvim nvim mem.sh and copy this command copy it and just paste it and similarly let's paste the other command the first one oh god do i have to go yeah this one mem. so let's copy this copy this and paste this all right paste this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make 
a script so this is our current memory uses and if the current memory uses current memory uses is greater than uh, for example 6 because uh, in my PC if my current memory uses get greater than 6 everything start lagging then okay all right I'm going to do this and fi so this is the PID of the highest you know like let's make a variable out of this and then kill minus 9 PID now this might doesn't look good so what you can do is you can also do something like uh, so I have this Wofi menu so if I run uh, echo yes and no and I can pipe this in Wofi minus D for D menu so it's kind of like a D menu it's going to give me these option so if I type yes so it's going to print it so why I'm showing you this because I can you know use something like uh, so kill some high you mem memory using program uh, reusing program die all right so this is just a menu which will pop up every time my system start the memory uses get more than 6 GB and I'm about to die like my system is about to die so I can do use something like this I can even give a prompt I don't know how to do it in Wofi but uh, I used to do it in D menu there have to be something like prompt I'm pretty sure let me grab grab prompt or maybe I should prompt okay what is the spelling okay this is the prompt all right so I can use prompt let me try it so minus P and then choose the pill choose the pill. so as you can see we are getting a uh, you know like choose the pill so i can do something like this here i can do uh, echo echo yes and next line no and pipe it into wofi minus t minus p and then your memory uses is high wanna die okay so if you type yes then this command won't run so if so let's make a variable out of it and uh, okay so choice choice is equal to so how do we compare strings choice if choice is oh fuck choice is equal to yes then i want to die so let's not run it let's do nothing okay this is a bad way to do it i i believe you can do this i'm not sure so let's just do else okay else fi okay so i know it's a uh, echo okay all right this is so bad like oh god how i'm a linux youtuber like okay maybe i should spend some time learning things instead of making videos all right so let's type bin sh and i guess we are done we are done guys so i'm done with this life i mean this video so here you can see that uh, let me just save it and chmod mem.sh and let's just for ex for example sake if i just decrease the number here so instead of 6 gb let's do 3 gb and uh, so right now my memory is just, is not 3 gb it's less than 3 gb let's just make it 2 gb for us okay so what i will do now is let's save this and hope this works so it's not working because the else statement maybe i have to edit this video now i feel okay so if else is not let's do no fuck i could have done this before okay so if choice is no then just kill it okay then then if then was missing okay let me save it and run it okay it's not running because we have to do everything inside a while true loop and while true why because this have to you know we have to keep this running so while true and then sleep for like five seconds and done while true do so this is it so okay let me close this why I... so this is our beautiful script and we are running a while true loop we are going to wait for five seconds and then we are going to uh get the memory here and after that we are going to check if the memory is greater than 2 gb somehow and then we are just going to kill it okay so mem.sh and let me open firefox and see if it's working so firefox okay i got a lot of amazon links here so right now i have a lot of memory uses and after fixing some errors as you can see if i run this mem.sh and wait for five seconds so it's just going to give me a warning and i can choose and then kill the most you know like heavy process so okay maybe i have to open one more tab 
one more YouTube tab. And as you can see, we got the memory uses is high and stuff like that. And I can just type, do I want to die? No. And it's going to kill the Firefox. So this is so cool. And this will stop me, prevent me from accidental shutdowns or, you know, freezing my computer. So that's it. That's the power of command. So, let's go, 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 let's